All right. Um, good evening. I want and welcome to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu. And um, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for all your accolades. Yeah. <laughs> I've been getting some accolades and um, it's it's um, it's all about you know just making me to know I'm doing something I'm uh, there's someone who is like a mentor to me I spoke with her tonight and uh, she was like I told you you know I like the fact that you are treading those dreaded parts she's an elderly person you know and I like the fact that you are talking about those things you are carving a niche in that area that the society really need and you are really really doing a good job and when somebody you look up to tell you some something like that you feel good and you feel like you are doing something and of course to those of you that have been sending me text messages phone calls on facebook social media whatsapp instagram thank you dr tulu thank you you are doing a good job thank you you have helped my marriage thank you man guys i love it when you tell me all this it made me know that uh I'm actually doing something, all right? So thank you guys for being a part of this show. And of course, you don't want to be selfish about this. You want to tell people you care about to thin you to, to tune into this show to be part of it. And of course, you know, you could actually watch me live on Facebook now. Go to your Facebook, 99.3. Drop your comment. I will be taking a lot of comments tonight. So drop your comment, drop your messages, drop your opinion. And I'm going to be reading them out on Facebook, 99.3 Nigeria Info. I will be reading them out tonight. And of course, you could join me on TV live on 259 Wazobia Max dstv channel 259 you could watch me live and join the conversation tonight you could be so you don't have an excuse not to be happy and right um it's been a very hectic day for me <laughs> I, you can't imagine actually you can't imagine in fact i had a, a session till um almost i was in the office till like after 10 you know in this business of building homes and mending relationship i just want to be sure that you guys i mean when i see people walking into my office sad dejected crying unhappy at the very i mean people don't even talk to the to a counselor in this part of the world until they are at the point of giving up or at the point of you know divorce or separation so um when i see people walking in like that and i see a marriage that ordinarily should be beautiful should be interesting i see it at the verge of breaking up i feel like wow these people should have done something before this get out of ends and after talking to me if i see that things are getting better i see them smiling i see them making effort to make it work you don't know i mean that is the best fulfillment i could ever have that is the best thing that's the best feeling i could ever have seeing that people come into my office and when they are going out and the, they, they are coming in at the point of they want to separate want to divorce nothing there's nothing anybody could tell me and they are coming out and they are coming like we are going to make this work i mean that's the best thing that could ever happen to me that's the best feelings actually all right on tonight's episode of intimate talk with dr tula we'll be starting by saying this all right now if you have going i'm going to be frank and blunt about this and i know some people might not like it and you know when people come into my office i say this that when you come to talk to me you believe that number one there is 100 percent level of confidentiality i mean i can't be a counselor if i can't maintain that ethics of 100 percent confidentiality and then beyond that you believe that if you talk to me uh things are going to get better all right and that is why you came into my office so you should come with the confidence of the fact that whatever you are telling me of course is just between us and you should believe that um if you have uh, coming to speak to a professional you should believe that i mean it can't be the same with talking to your mom or your dad or your pastor really and it is on that note that i'm going to be starting tonight's show you might not like it but people are going through stuff people are going through crazy issues and like i usually say on this show when i see some certain certain issues and i think i've seen it all i see another shocker people are unhappy people are sad people are dejected i don't understand what happened it's like people used to be so loving caring dedicated as soon as they get married everything is like 
everything just start getting bad. I mean, I don't know. Probably people don't do the right thing before getting married. I mean, I talk about primary counseling in my office. Our primary counseling, sometimes we don't even have a client in three months. And people are getting married every day. That particular package, I'm talking about that particular package. It's a, it's a whole lot of package. It's a week-long package. And it involves a lot of exercises. I want to know how compatible you are. I want to feel your uh, emotional pulse. I want, you know, there is a, a, a whole lot of program for people. Are get, you are getting married. You don't even know what you are getting into. People get married. I mean, I see couples who are getting married. The, and the, the woman is saying, I don't know anything about sex. And I don't, I, I still, I mean, three years, four years, she still doesn't like sex. And, and you uh, expect that marriage to, to keep going. You are getting married to a man who is who is addicted to porn, who is addicted to to you know to masturbation, and you don't you nobody is talking about it, you know, and then you expect the marriage to be fine. It, it won't be fine. And the worst is, you know, as I was saying, you know, I, I remember in my class on Wednesday, you know, I had a class on Wednesday and we were talking and I was telling them that. You know, the problem is this part of the world is, I mean, there are a lot of examples of when we're growing up. I mean, one of my students was telling me that, you know, she, I can't remember, but somewhere like, you know, like, I think they live in Pangroof and they are schooling at uh, maybe somewhere in Apapa. So when the father is going to work, when she was eight years old, the father would drop them somewhere in Surulere and then they will find their way to a papa. And then when they are coming back, they meet, they join the father at Surulere and then he takes them home at eight years old. They enter bus, they do all that. Now, can you even leave your eight years old to do all that now? Things are changing. People, the uh, um, civilization is creeping on us, whether we like it or not. But the truth of the matter is, you know, all these things that are changing, are we, do we have measures in place? I keep saying it. Do we have measures in place, you know, to, to, to help people to, you know, to, to, like a cushion effect. You know, we don't have all that. And all we do, all we do in the, we are so pretentious, we are so hypocritical, and all we do is pray and pray and pray. I mean, it's a beautiful thing to pray. I believe in the power of prayer, actually. But come on. Come on. You're having sexual issues. You are running to your pastor. You are having financial issues. You are running to your... You know, I see big board of pastors talking about uh, sexual this, sexual that. See pastors talking about marriage this, marriage that. I'm sorry. Is uh, like I said, I'm blunt about this. You might not like it, but please, if you mean well for your followers, for your congregation, if you want to talk about these stuffs, please bring professionals. Bring professionals. The job of a pastor is to feed the soul. People, the kind of hypocrisy that are going on in our place of worship is crazy. People are dying. People are pretending. You, 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 you know, a man is saying, ah, you know, I can't allow my wife to give me blowjob. And the woman is saying, oh, I'm a, I'm mother in Israel. I can't give blow blowjob. And this man has girlfriends that are, that are blowing his mind away. And you come to, to you come home and say, ah, you know, we don't do blowjob. What are we talking about? And you talk to certain women and they say, ah, no, I don't like sex. So I don't like sex. So I, I don't do it. So. And, and then the husband will say, ah, my wife don't like sex. And the man, what are you talking about? It's a man. That's what I said when you talk about men of God. There is a man. It's a man of God. There is a man before the of God. It's a man. You know, I, I remember I was talking to one of my clients and I told her, you know, we know, I understand the father. You know, we've talked about the father. People don't change as adults. I don't even want to go into all that. You know, the job, you can't tell people what to do and expect them to change. They won't change. It is only a professional that could make people to work on themselves. That's why you will keep fighting, you keep settling problems. If you don't apply the proper skills, the proper theory, people will not change. You know? And, and I told her, and she was like, oh, but Dr. Tolu, you, so the one we started talking about, so I said, but Dr. Tolu, you said, people don't change as adults, and I mean, I mean, people don't change until they make up their mind to change. You know, that was what she said, that Dr. Tolu, but you said, so now you want, uh, you want my husband to change when it comes to sex. And I told her, well, you know, this is, there are all lots that are attached, but there's a point I was trying to make. I told her that when it comes to sex, 
as a woman, you have a very big role to play. There is a way God has wired you. They say there are some moves you make that your husband will have erection. It, it, it doesn't have option. It is wired that way. All right? You know, so when it comes to the issues of sex, you have a role to play. You can make him to change as a woman if you want to. All right? So that's by the way. But the point is, I want to encourage us. It's on that note. That's, that's why I said I might be blunt about this. Please, if you are putting up programs, you know, that has to do with sex, with money, with marriage, with abuse, please invite professionals. You feed our souls as men of God and invite professionals to talk about certain issues. People in your congregations are dying. They are going through so much. Out of pretense. I remember I went to speak in a church and... Uh, you know, this is a kind of church where people, you know, no earring, no makeup, you know, you cover your hair and all that. But Dr. Tolu will not pretend. I just want to be myself, all right? So, um, and when I got there, uh, you know, it was a very big couple's dinner, you know. And, and the pastor just told me, I, you know, when he came to talk to me, he was like, hey, hey, Dr. Tolu, please, so how do we talk about, you know, uh, this uh, 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 union? He, he, cannot even, he can't even say sex. <laughs> you know, I don't blame him. I, you know, I used to have um, a, a, like a father in the Lord to me, and he told me, you say, Tolu, all these things you are saying, if I want to talk about them, I might need to do like three three months fasting and prayer before I can come to the pulpit and talk about all this. So I don't, I don't, I actually don't have men of God, but there's a point I'm trying to make here, you know. So, um, so when I spoke in that place, I remember, you know, the man doesn't even know I want So I helped him. I said, oh, you are talking about sex. He said, yes, please don't say it. Say it. People, because the problem I'm seeing these days are too many. Please don't say it. Dr. Tolu, just the way you used to say it, you know, on TV. I said, okay, fine. All right. So when we got there. I, I made them loosen up and I talked about certain things I know are going on in their mind that all of them are pretending about. And I told them, when you want to write your questions, just write it, you know, and um, drop it somewhere, you know, so that people will not even see you when you are dropping because I know we pretend a lot about these things. My darling, when I, start, when I started reading questions, when I started reading questions, the kind of questions that people were asking in the church because I just made them to open up. The man of God was like, are you sure these questions are coming from this congregation to tell you that people are going through so much? So it is on this note, you know, I just want to be a bit, I just want to be sure that in the, in, in the with, with good intention, intention is not enough. You know, we might have good intention to help people, but are we helping them the right way? Are we doing the right thing? Are we making sure that marriages are not breaking up? Are we making sure that marriages that we said we are trying to make, we are not actually breaking them? It is on that note I'm starting tonight. I actually don't know that I'm going to be this. I mean, I wasn't feeling myself tonight, but I'm glad that at least I'm entering into the show. So, of course, you are welcome to my show. It's Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu. And if this is your first time of tuning in, of course, you'll be missing, missing, missing a lot. But there are so much to learn. And this is 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one news, talk, and spread radio station. Of course, you could call me the fixer. I am in the business of building homes, mending relationship, and fixing sexual issues. All right? I'm going to be talking about sexting tonight. I started on Tuesday, and I'm going to continue it tonight i will be reading a lot of comments a lot of questions i want to do a lot of that tonight so let's see how we are going to roll and i'm going to be playing a song you know to put myself in the mood i was telling Sunday that i'm not feeling myself tonight <laughs> all right you are welcome back yeah. to intimate talk with dr Tolu. and we're still talking sexting tonight and i think that song actually put me in the mood all right so um let's see what i can do in a few minutes and of course i know i've said a lot already and i believed you have been able to pick one or two things from what i've said at the end of the day the essence the whole essence of this show is to make sure uh, that you are happy your life is better i mean you have you deserve to be happy. Your marriage is your life. That's I me. Mean. I remember, you know, a couple walked into my office and, you know, they came for counseling and I was like, I was asking the guy, are you fine? Uh, he said, I'm fine. So why are you in the counselor's office? My wife said we should come. You know, men are always like that. 
and then you know by the time you open everything they be like oh thank you dr Tolu. i'm so glad i came and you know so i said well like are you happy he said yes i'm happy okay i think it's your marriage doing well he said um not really so i was like oh how could you be happy i mean how could you be happy in a sad marriage he said uh no that i'm really happy okay so the point is sometimes i mean all the time not even sometimes you can never be happy in an in a sad marriage you can't be in a sad relationship and be happy it's not possible so it's better to just walk away it's better to walk away because you deserve to be happy your relationship should add to you not take away from you not make you sad and dejected all right so tonight i'm talking about sexting before i divert again and start talking i talked about i talked a whole lot about what sexting is all about on tuesday it's it's a you know say we are sending text messages you know or um videos or pictures you know explicit exclusive um content you know and nude or nearly nude suggestive nude you know pictures or videos that leaves nothing into the imaginations you know sending it to people you know so sex thing was gotten from the word sex and text you know so sex and text so when you are sending something that's erotic about sex sensual um nude semi-nude you know suggestive you know you know the kind of messages you send and the funny no funny enough nobody talks about these things but they're happening they are dead you know and for me I, I mean i've said a lot i talked about why people do this uh, on tuesday and i tell you what you should i told you what you should look out for before you do it and i talk about some facts about sex thing okay what are the things you need to know about sex so tonight i'm going to be giving you tips now let me say this to you you guys need to understand that dr tony is not holier than thou i don't want to i don't want people to feel like oh she's so holy she's so this you know i'm fallible i'm human all right so I, i'm not trying to prove uh, that i'm holy to anyone so please just get that right but personally at the end of the day whatever i talk about you don't need to as agree with me is your choice but the point is personally for me sexting is something that i i don't i won't do ordinarily because i because of certain things because i understand whatever enters the internet might go crazy whatever is out there anything could happen you could mistakenly and i talked about all that on tuesday you could send them to wrong ends you could send them to wrong uh to a wrong person all right um but even with that if you want to sext it is your choice at the end of the day it is not uh dr tolu's place it is not in my place to tell you i mean don't do it if you want to do what before you do consider the reasons why you are doing it i talked about that consider the person you are dealing with all right is this person comfortable with this and is it is this person do you trust this person enough to be able to send your like i say i mean especially for women women are the one that actually has a lot to protect really personally now your body is a gold mine it's it's not it's it's not something that you could quantify with money really so when you give it out you give it out because the person deserve it because you love the person because you care about it. it's beyond money there's no any amount of money that could pay for it that is why i pity people that sells ah, what are you selling for 5k for 10k i'm not in your shoe i'm not trying to judge you but i just think you could do better i think <laughs> i think you could do better really i think something that could buy you a house in dubai it's not something you should sell for 5k really <laughs> i'm just being naughty but why your body is a good mind it's as a woman if you understand what you carry eh? you know there's something i usually talk about the fact that men has the power of authority and women has the power of influence i know all the gender feminists you might not agree with me on this eh? i mean <laughs> You are free to agree whatever you want to agree on all right but the point is men as a power of authority men always want to be in charge men want to be the leader 
and I want it that way. In my marriage, I want my husband to be the leader. I don't want to be the head of the house. I don't want to. I want to be the queen. I don't want to be the king. All right? You know, so um, as much as men as authority, women or the female has what I call the power of influence. Now, if you have influence, why do you want to have authority? Because influence controls authority. Influence tells authority what to do. Influence rules the world. Influence makes the world go around. That is why as a woman, you can do and undo. You can, yes, you know, like I was talking to one of my clients. I told her, ah, you can, when it comes to sex, so, you know, she was like, ah, I can't, I can't control him. I said, why when it comes to sex, you can control him. If you know how to use your power of influence, you can control him. All right. So women has very serious power, you know. So that thing, the, your boobs, your vagina, I don't think it's something you should send any out. The person you are sending it to, who is this person? Does he deserve it? Does he want it? It's a whole lot of commitment. It's a whole lot of. I don't want you to see because I know that maybe young people, you know, they might look at Dr. Tolun, this kind of sex therapy. So she's so, but the fact still remains that whatever you are sending on the internet, on electronic gadgets, on your telephone, anything could happen. And you know, I said it on Tuesday that 17% of time, what you send. 70% of time, the person you send it to is going to share. And 55% of time, the person, those 17% sent to are going to share. So you could see that the thing will just be going on and on and on. So talking about sex thing, what are the do's I don't? So personally, it's not something that I am not saying do it or not do it. I'm not saying I can do it if, 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 if there is need for it. All right. But even if you have to do it, all right. There are certain things that you need to consider. I'm worried about the fact that I, I, I'm worried about how you can sex and not uh, masturbate. And of course, masturbation on its own is it good? Is it bad? There's a big debate on that already. All right. But the point is, I think personally, I actually think sex things spice things up. If you, you know, when we get married, uh, when, like I said, when marriage, when couples who were dating who were used to be romantic you know lovey dovey or you know trying all the nice things it's like you know i mean there's there's a quote that say if you want to stop making love to a woman get married to her if you want to stop making love to a woman get married to her because it's like after getting married everything changed you know people just like live their lives and feel like whatever okay so i still think as couples i don't see any reason why you can't have some sense of raunchy text messages you know babe i just got a new so those are part of the things maybe I, I don't know if i wrote that you know part of the things like babe i just got this lovely red lingerie i, I think you, sh you should see how it looks on me I i'm gonna wear it for you when you come the man is having a hard on in the office you know so sex thing doesn't really mean that you need to snap your boobs snap your pennies or snap your vagina you could actually send some messages that you know speaks a lot all right you could send messages that send the person that you want to close at work and like i'm going back home i mean i need to close on time all right okay but what are the do's and don'ts okay i'm going to I'm, I'm talking about the don'ts of sexting so if you want to sex is your choice and if you don't want to it is your choice personally i think it could spice things up and but and then at the same time I also think it could be very dangerous. All right. I mean, I talked about it. And most of the people that called on Tuesday were saying uh, they won't do it. It's immature. People feel it's immature. People feel it's it's in descent. But I personally think, I mean, it could spice things up. Why not? It doesn't really have to be naked pictures, like I said. All right. So, what are the don'ts? Number one, number one that I put here is don't be too eager to avoid sending to the wrong place. Don't be too eager. To avoid sending to the wrong place because if you are eager, you want to okay. Let me quickly send, let me quickly send, my darling. <laughs> I've seen I've seen issues. I mean, you we, most of us have seen it. People sending their privates, you know, you are seeing 
<laughs> erected pennies in in a, in a in a in a in a family group in a estate group in um a school group you know people make mistake and send to the wrong person wrong it's just a button it's just a button you press like you press like this it's gone you can't even withdraw it all right so the first don't of uh sexting is do not be too eager so you avoid sending to the, take your time take your time do not be under pressure to send i mean i think it's something you should even weigh do i want to do this do i really want to do this before you do it and then number two don't send to someone you haven't met physically i don't know why people do this and i know a lot a whole lot of you that are listening to me you know you are guilty of this you are doing it people are doing a lot of things are going on behind closed doors you know you know you are doing this all right do not send why will you send your vagina to a man you have never met one-on-one -on -one? why why for crying out loud do not do not it could be dangerous you 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 know sometimes you don't get to really know people i mean maybe if you see the person you wouldn't even like the person maybe by the time you see the person you start regretting why did i do it all right so consider that before you send do not send to someone you have met number three don't send if you are not comfortable with it if you know that if you are i mean it is it's your body for crying out loud I know that these days now, <laughs> I think the tables are turning. You know, usually, but majorly, it's still about women. It's still about men pressuring women to send. But come on, the tables are turning. Women who are asking for it, they are telling men, send to me. Babes are told, <laughs> girls are told, see men anyhow these days, especially married men. I mean, that's what is happening. We all know, right? Girls are not smiling. All right. So if you're not comfortable, do not send. Do not allow anybody. Do not allow anybody to pressure you like you are saying me now. Let me see your boobs. You know, to start from what are you wearing? Is he is is the color white? Is he red? Okay, can you see the, your bra? Can I see? <laughs> if you don't want to, if you are not comfortable, do not send. Do not allow anybody to pray. You know, before don't show your face. Don't show your face. As much as possible, do not show your face. Remove your face. At least, if worse comes to worse, <laughs> nobody will be able to dictate that you are the one. All right. Number four. Okay. Number five. Don't be too raw. Don't be too raw. I mean, I think it can be a turn off. If even if, if you are trying to turn someone on, if you are too raw about it, it could become a turn off. It could. I mean, the people might be, I mean, if somebody wants to watch porn, let the person go and watch. Why do you want to turn yourself to a porn star only in the name of trying to spice up your relationship or trying to spice up your marriage? I don't think it's it's okay to be too raw. It could be a turn off. It's just like when you make love, you know, it's okay to make love and moan, you know. Moaning puts you in the mood, sets the atmosphere on fire. But when you now turn into... <laughs> It could be it could be a put off, all right. So don't be too raw. And again, don't sex if you if you haven't don't sext, okay? Sext like sexting. Do not sex if you haven't done the real thing. If you haven't slept with someone, don't 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 have sex on phone. Don't do it because if you do it, the person the person might not even want to meet you anymore. The person might be like, what the heck? I will done everything. You don't even know if you are going to see the person you are going to regret. You don't even know if you are not going to be able to, you know, like the person you are. So, if you have no slept with someone one-on-one, -on -one, don't sext. It's going to be a turn-off. And then, don't sext if the other party didn't ask for it or not showing interest. I don't know why people think, I mean, I, I told you on Tuesday about all these celebrities that people, <laughs> don't, don't try it with me, <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's you hold your lot <laughs> as in funny enough, as much as Dr. Tolu talk about sex, I, I think it's it also has to do with the way you carry yourself, really. As in people think Dr. Tolu is one sex guru. I leave sex, I drink sex, I wake sex, I sleep sex, I sleep sex, I do sex, I talk sex, I, I am sex. 
<laughs> but at the same time, I don't know. There's something about professionalism when when it comes to this sex thing that I talk about. People know. If you come to my office with, I mean, people call me and be like, ah, you know, I can last this, I can last one hour, I can do 10 rounds. Why you say all that? The next question I will ask you is, how can I help you? I don't, if you last 10 rounds, go <laughs> and do it with your wife. <laughs> all right, but the point is, don't sext if the other party didn't ask for it or is not showing interest. All of you, you know, I don't know why you want to entice a celebrity, a musician or an actress, and then you are snapping your your pennies to her, you are snapping your boobs, you are snapping your ass, you know. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? It's, it's, it's cheap, really. It makes you look cheap. Somebody is not interested, somebody is not asking for it, and you are sending. Who are you? It says a lot about your personality. It says a lot about whom you are. It says a lot about even the way you see yourself. Even said that, you will not tell the person that, no need to worry, you know, this person, uh, there's nothing to worry about, all right? If you don't, if you have not met, I mean, if the other party is not interested, please don't do it. Even if you are a man, if you, uh, you are trying to, encourage your babe you know to send to you and she's not showing interest don't send your pennies please i mean it doesn't worth it then don't give too much in your sex don't give too much don't i mean people pornography has made people to have crazy ideas and people do certain things that you begin to wonder why i mean too much of porn porn everywhere because if you want to if you want to even if you want to sex for me if I want to do this, I wouldn't want to do private sending vaginas. And I would want to send you messages that will make you to be looking forward to seeing the vagina or looking forward to seeing the boobs instead of just sending it like that, really. All right? So don't give too much. Don't, 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 it's, 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 it's don't leave. I mean, don't make it look, look like you are leaving nothing to the imagination. What the whole essence, really. And then finally, don't say or do what you won't do in real life. Don't, don't, don't give the impression of whom you are not. Only the name of trying to entice somebody. I, I usually say this on this show that sex will not keep a man and pregnancy will not make him stay. So trying to be, you can tumble, you can do, if, if he's going to stay, he's going to stay. So don't say or do what you won't do in real life. And then, remember I talked about the fact that, you know, when it comes to sex thing, this thing is actually very common. If you go online to read about sex thing, you're going to see more of articles about teenagers because it's a canker worm that are eating deep into the, you know, in, in, into the um, teenage life, you know. Teenagers are the one battling with this. Even among girls themselves, among boys, they send pictures of themselves to themselves. And somehow, maybe something go wrong and girls you know girls are good at fighting especially girls you know and then the next thing that she would decide to send her friends boobs to everybody you can imagine what that would cause some the, there is a particular story i read the, the parents has to move away three states away from that place at the end of the day that girl that particular girl i think it's about 17 she still committed suicide suicide is very very high uh, suicide that are caused by sexting is very very common among among teenagers take away their it you know usually take away their service team it could change them and make them become you know change their life to this system make them somebody whom they are not you know people laughing at them you see pictures going into the wrong side and when she's walking to school everybody's laughing people are sending the picture they are looking at her you know we see these things in movies it's very very common and even in nigeria these things are happening already you know your children will be on phone all through the night you know and you don't know what is going on you need to be vigilant because sexting is a big problem among teenagers you know teenagers are, are like are like are, are like babies like i said on tuesday that think they are adults they have the mind of a child but the body is telling them because they have the body of an adult so they already think that they are an adult they want to act like mommy don't understand daddy don't understand that i'm big now i'm an adult but the mind is still a child a, a, a mind of a child so teenagers has a lot of problem with 
with this. But because our intimate talk with Dr. Tolu, I mean, it's, it's not for teenagers, it's for 18 and above. I'm going to be going on a short break and I will give you like five tips as parents what you could do to assist your children if they are. Um, I mean, to help them, you know, to guide against, you know, falling into wrong hands and getting involved in this kind of things. All right. And I'm still going to be playing this song. I'm going on a short break. Play this song by this boy. Right. Interesting song. I love it. She can help you rekindle the flames of love. The flames of love. Doctor Tolu, the fixer. The flames of love. Doctor Tolu, the fixer. I should stay. <laughs> Hi, All right, guys, you are welcome back to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu. There's always a shoulder to lean on. So I want to pick your calls. I want to listen to you. And, of course, you can watch me live on Instagram. I just decided to go live tonight for a few minutes, guys. I'm live on Instagram on Intimate Talk with Tolu. And, of course, I want to be reading your comment on Facebook, 99.3 Nigeria Info. This Instagram thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> because it's this i mean because of the distraction is the reason why i don't always speak so that i could country this is serious business sex business is serious business okay all right so i've been talking about sexting you know i've said a whole lot about it tonight and i just want to talk about few tips for parents you know so you have teenagers teenagers especially and um, i mean they have their mobiles now and they think they know it all few things you could do number one you need to be vigilant you need to be as vigilant you need to be a detective you know as parents you actually have to be like a detective especially with your teenagers you need to read what they are going through you need when they are sleeping you need to go and pick their phone and scroll through all their history what they have been doing whom they have been talking to it is not so much please it is not too much be vigilant number two know their friends know their friends know the people they are talking to ask them question about them know the people they are moving with know the kind of people they work with know the kind of things that goes on in their mind it's very important make sure you know the friends of your teenagers number three be sensitive be sensitive in case there are mood changes you just notice that maybe is the type that i like to talk a lot is stop talking or she's the type that you know uh play with people a lot and she's just withdrawing or uh, she if you notice you know most i mean i read a story online about a, a, a teenage that actually committed suicide the mother noticed that there were inks you know uh marker in in her breast in you know some part of her body in her vagina you know those guys are actually took her pictures they drew some things with marker and the mother noticed and the mother was like you know on you now the mother was like what's this and she like she just waved it you know waved it off and was like never mind mommy and that was it you know as a mother please be sensitive to the mood if you see stuff like that if you see signs like that go in wear your detective glasses and go in and find out what is going on there really <laughs> thank you all right and then discuss the dangers of sexting with your teenagers and you sit down with them and talk to them about it the dangers that could come with it the problem that could come with it the consequences of this thing if they get involved in it you know if you let them know the consequences of their action it might be a good way for them to guide against certain things they might want to do if somebody is pressuring them into doing it when they remember what could happen it might be a kind of caution for them and finally like i said before it is okay to snoop it is okay to snoop it is okay to snoop around check what is reading look at what is going on in this life or in our life and it's just on that note all right so for those of you that have been sending text messages around cheese sexy exclusive um and um explicit um mood whatever you know you have been doing it i mean a lot of married guys are doing it with 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 people outside i mean that's a funny thing you you are saying oh, oh my, i don't want to be with my wife but you are doing it with your girlfriend what are we talking about marriages that are boring need to learn to spice things up really and if it's not even about if it's not about sending new pictures it's not about sending text messages that are a little bit you know a little bit dirty 
it's not too bad all right all right thank you guys for joining me tonight i'm going to pick your call like i said i want to listen to you your opinion your thought what do you think about sexting will you do it will you send your nude picture will you um allow someone to send it to you will you request for someone to send it to you if you travel and you are married will you sex with your wife can you have sex on phone with your wife if you are not around you travel have you done it before do you have any other questions that are bothering your mind about your relationship about your sex life and about your marriage and you want to ask me ask me anything you have my shoulder to lean on tonight so let's roll okay She's blunt, real, and practical. She is a professional clinical counselor, sex therapist, and excellent Join Dr. Tolu, the fixer, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. We are 99.3 Nigeria Info. The talk station. Talk station. The nation. Let's talk. Call us on 0127709930127719930127293993 0127719930127719930 and 0127739930 This is Nigeria Info we are listening All right so I'm listening to you I want to take your calls I want to answer your questions I want to listen to your opinion at the end of the day it's all about you is intimate talk with me but about you all right okay hello hello Solo. good morning good morning yeah i have a female my name is ify good morning ify yes please um this uh, this uh, topic is just as if you are talking to me Oh really? Um, <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, I want to ask you this thing. Okay. You see, there's this guy that we were together. He came to Lagos. Came for two could be. It could be. It could be. I am not in your shoe, Ify, but I know it could oh. be devastating. I mean, oh. especially when you are sent. Now you now know that this person hold your pictures or who add your as your private with him mm -hmm. and it's no it's it's there's nothing as devastating as that but i just mm -hmm. want to i don't think i don't want you to, to blame it on the picture really i don't want to, okay. because i mean he has slept with you he has seen you live so it's not yeah. like he's just seeing what he has not seen before he could Even just during the sex he saw me he did everything he me properly so you have seen everything life there's there's <sighs> nothing that he has not seen so i think there <sighs> could be other problems maybe he's seen someone else maybe something is wrong with him maybe he made up his mind this is not the person i want to be with but okay. if he just let it go let it go you see it, it's difficult but I, you know what you could do to let it go it's it's you could divert your attention to other things you, you just look at things what are the things that you usually do that makes you happy list them out okay. and, and start I, I include them in your daily activities then try and go out more meet new friends make new friends do things that make you happy list them out like i've said make new but friends can, but the, can i still do that any longer if any other if i just well, into another relationship. It, 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 it might be, it, I mean, now, I, I don't, it might not be that it's a picture that is a problem, I mean, from okay. all indications. But even as a dad, you need to be cautious because now you, I mean, you don't want to have this kind of feelings again, right? You yes, don't want to yes. start thinking like, so take your time. Send it, sexting requires a high level of trust, really. You must be very, very, in fact, if possible, 110% sure of the person you are dealing with. All right, okay. so do things that make you happy, go out more, make new friends. If you find you can start learning, you can learn new vocation, go and learn how to make up. If you have extra time that you are using to think about him, use that time to okay. learn new things and just 
develop yourself and be good you'll be fine all right thank you very all right much. if you take care of thank yourself you. yeah, yeah bye you. i just love the way if he spoke with me i wish nigerians could be that open i mean no big deal don't pretend that because dr tolu will not judge you all right hello hello yeah Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Tony. Yeah. My name is Chidi. Okay, good morning, Chidi. You are welcome, sir. Uh, yes, actually, I don't know your advice, sir. Mm. You see, I was, I broke up with my girl, 2015. I forgot you. Okay. Uh, she left me actually she's the one that left me for her ex. Okay. So do you know what I did to myself, Dr. Tony? Yeah. I went outside. I keep on if I see clothes, shoes, bleach watches, I, I made myself happy. Mm. I try making myself happy. Mm. If I should see anything that I know, mm. when I have the money, I'll buy it. Mm. When I was with her, maybe let me say how many say four or four pairs of Mm. I should buy more spicy things to myself, mm. buy gifts to myself. Mm. You tell me, you know that I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, it's, a ve it's very it's therapeutic, like actually. It's very yeah, it's it's therapeutic. therapeutic. Yeah. So, so do, you know, do you know what I did to the Yeah. I received blocking on the Facebook. Mm. I'm posting, <laughs> making progress. And I found that. Yeah. So, that is one of my goals. Luckily, last year, we just bought. Range Rover Sports. Okay. I took a cruise with cars. You see, 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 you because she knows she's not my, I don't even, my mind is not there again. Mm. You know, today, my child will come and say, You, you don't even send this to me, so my face, sorry, I forgot. But this is before. My mind is I, I, I actually <laughs> tell people that the best revenge for a heartbreak is success. Is to work on yourself. Make when the person to. sees you. In fact, you don't really necessarily have to do it for the person. Do it for yourself. Now the person sees you and feel like, oh, I lost a good mind. That's how it's supposed but, to be. But if you let me tell you another one again. Yeah. You know this girl, the same girl, called me when this was sharing tears. I see what happened. She said she's tired of this life. I don't care what she said. I'm missing she. Yeah, school. One lecture is disturbing her. I was just laughing. Mm. I was just laughing and playing too. I was that day, and I say, and she had number, and I sent to her number, and I said to her, she told me, she said, can you do this to me? And what I did to you, I can do it. You're my friend now. I moved on, and I'm sure that I have moved on. All right. So let me just move on. Make, let me make her feel happy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shidi. Thank you, Shidi. Thank you so much. Let me make her feel happy. All right. And move on. Yeah, thank you for calling. Thank you. All right. I mean, I couldn't say more. Right. I couldn't say more. I am not seeing your comments on Facebook. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to check it. I don't know. I'm trying to, like, um, get your comment. Uh, oh. Oh, it's like it's it's over. Okay, so um, all right. Hello, Dave, Ebuka, uh, Ralph. Very true revenge. <laughs> all right, so hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Doctor Tolu. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. My name is Chukwebuka. Okay. Yes, yeah, Dr. Tulu, God bless you real good. I think I've called, I call at intervals anyway, so always say God bless you. Thank you. Because we all know how much you would have paid to get all this information and all this counseling that in your decision now free of charge. Okay. And I will say God bless you again. Like I told you some time ago, you do not even know how many homes 
of how many marriages, relationships you've been able to men are uh, to date. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I feel That's good about lot. that. Thank you. I tell you, Dr. Tobu, I mean, this is huge. For me, I listen to you, I mean, it's huge. And um, it's unusual of me not to call into any program from Nigeria Info. I mean, I call in the law board, like a program I choose to listen. Oh, thank I'll you so much. And I pick and also use it to cancel a lot of people as well. Mm. Mm. Around me and the people working out. Mm. I tell you, like when you were talking about the teenager who committed suicide, you know, when we were much younger, our parents, I don't know if it, if it was shyness or they thought if they give us the education that will get or something like that, and they hid it from us, you understand, never giving us a, a, a sex education. Likewise, our teachers then. But today, we are adults, we are married, we have kids, and the way the world is going, we don't have to do the same. Mm. But don't even keep it away from your child. Your child is your child. They are mm. children. Yeah. You have every right over them. Come yeah. with me, like you said. Yeah. Go into their rooms, pick up their phones, yeah. even while they are asleep, yes. pick up their phones, Go to their messages, go to their conversations, Very look important. at what they're reading. Very important. You will see a lot. And there's nothing a child will learn from anywhere more than the one you will teach your child in the house for. 100%. 100%. That, that's most of us, when we are today, as a result of the majorly 98% of the upbringing. True. Yeah. Yeah. True. You know, yeah. there's nothing. If you don't teach your child, they will teach her outside. Right. I agree. If you don't teach her positive things, they will teach her negative things out there. I agree. agree. But there's nothing wrong in you. If you live in a flat, a big apartment, your children live in different rooms, sneak into their rooms, because their phones, (laughs) at times wake them up. (laughs) Yeah, at times wake them up, weekends, sit them down. And, and have a them. very, yeah, and to have to have discussion, yeah, yeah. You know, but let them be very free with you. Yeah, I agree. The information, they cannot divorce to you if yeah. you're harsh to them. And just let them be very free. Yeah. Educate them a yeah. lot. That will guide them wherever they are. Yeah. If they remember, Chukwe Bukha said, if you do this, this, this will be the end result. Mm. I mm. think wherever they are, they'll think twice. Yeah. So Thank you do so not much. hesitate in giving your child sex education. Come right, with me. And right. let me quickly chip in this. I mean, uh, Dr. Tolu. Okay. You see, I keep wondering why on this earth, Tolu, I tell you as a married man, I can't take a picture of my wife's business to be in my phone or anywhere. Mm. Mm. Don't talk of someone you're dating or even sure of. Mm. We all saw what happened last time. I mean, the one that jumped into into into, in, into the river, yeah. uh, Ted Milan Bridge, that it was real. I mean, the, of course, we also a picture of the man and the woman. Mm. What the man did, mm. you don't know anyone's heart. Yeah, there could be anything there could be can happen. Anything can happen, really. So why would you want to allow your nudeness? I mean, why would you want to allow your pictures taken? Mm. Why would you want to post your pictures to someone? What for? Mm. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Ibuka. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I always love it whenever you call on the show. Thank you. All right, let me quickly read through our Facebook beautiful program from Favor. Thank you. Um, good topic, Oluba Day. Thank you. Um, kind day, I agree. Thank you. I'm here. I'm here. Good evening, ma. Please, why are you no longer on Instagram? I tried to join Instagram because of you guys tonight, so I'm live there now. No sound. That was when we were playing the song. Work on your volume. That was because of the song. All right. You can't hear the song because of copyright. All right. Uh, doctor, can I get you on Instagram? Like, yeah. Check me. Intimate talk with Tolu. Check intimate talk with Tolu on Instagram. Um, Tolu. Okay. Please, Doctor Tolu. My name is Chris. My problem is that my wife doesn't like to have sex always with me. Like even three times in a week. And I'm someone who likes sex more than food. 
really and this have led me out and i found my tie but i don't want to continue with it outside my marriage please what should i do talk to a sex therapist book an appointment with me in the first place you need to check how compatible you are before you get married so of course there is problem with sexual compatibility you say you like sex more than food your wife doesn't like it at all so there is already a problem so what we need to do is see how we could make your wife to like it improve a little bit why you also probably reduce your own so compromise compromise is going to help you all right um let's see let's see let's see i'm trying to read through the facebook on nigeria info good one me i enjoy my wife more despite 18 years of marriage kudos to you all right okay the title of the song loving jaitis by whiz boy all right uh so glad you're enjoying this share this live with all right thank you guys thank you guys for joining me and then on instagram Elinkes, thank you. No, yeah. Ah, no, yeah. Oh, those are my potato people. I, I feel so, I mean, it's nice seeing you, no, yeah. <laughs> Choco, damn, so thank you guys for joining me. I'm picking one or two more calls, all right? All right, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hello? Sorry. Hello? Hello, are you there? Sorry. Hello. Hello. Good yeah. Morning. Good morning. Doctor Tolu, we are really enjoying your program over here. Thank you. <laughs> God will bless you. I reward you. Amen. I receive that with open arms. Please, there's something I want to ask you. Do you do make machine? Yeah, I do. I match people mm. and people are getting married. I really want to be one of those people. Okay. I will drop my number so you could reach me. Or uh, then you could actually walk to the website. Everything you I have a website for matchmaking. It's uh intimatematchmaking.com. Just the way I said it, intimatematchmaking.com. Everything you want to know about the matchmaking is there. And if you want to still see me personally, you can find out how to see me in the website. And of course, I'll drop my number at the end of the show. All right? Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you for calling. Okay, I can pick one more call. My last jagger. Hello? Oh. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, this is Patrick by name. Okay. Good morning, Patrick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Please. my own. I have This. That's not. Yeah. Sorry, your line is not clear. I'm sorry. Uh, can I take one more call for just thirty seconds? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Man. Yeah. Oh uh, my. Good I'm morning. Good yeah. Good morning. This one of the says you and we are first time listening. Oh, thank you for joining me. Yeah. All right, thank I you. I want to your show and I always agree with you. Thank you. Thank, thank you thank for you. calling, all right. Sorry, the lines are just... But that's all I could be able to take. Of course, my time is gone. And thank you guys for joining me on Instagram, on Facebook. I love you guys. So, Corey... Phenomena, Amechi, we love you. I love you too. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's been an amazing time on the show tonight. And of course, do not forget that you could join me on Tuesday next week. And of course, um, dating party is coming bigger and better. And for those of you who want to, I mean, even especially the teenagers, you want to help the teenagers, please. They need your help. They need you. Like you want to be a teenage counselor, a child counselor. Please reach out to me. Let's see how we can work together. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank you for two. I just really want to appreciate Tunde tonight. Tunde is the most handsome guy in Nigeria info, actually. <laughs> the coolest guy, you know, coolest guy. Tunde has been, has been the one making intimate talk with Tulu to really do well. Thank you today. I don't know if you are listening to me, but I appreciate your effort. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Before I go here, it's my food for thought for tonight.
Okay. Okay, my food for thought for tonight. The key to a great marriage is to keep the fight clean and the sex dirty. Thank you guys for joining me. You can reach me on 081 or visit my website intimate solution network.com just the way i said it intimate solution network.com you could follow me on facebook intimate talk with tolu instagram is intimate talk with tolu and of course nigeria info 99.3 on all the platform and wasobia max 259 on all the platform thank you for guys for joining me tonight and i'm going to be 